Hello bookish friends and welcome to or welcome back to my channel. My name is Lexi and today we are starting another Days in My Life vlog. Before we get further into this vlog, I quickly want to thank today's video sponsor, which is, of course, Pear Eyewear. I've been working with them for a while now, and I'm sure you're probably aware of what they are, but if you are not, they are my personal favorite online glass retailer, specializing in a very unique glass concept where you can fit up to six pairs of glasses in this one tiny little case. That is made possible by their interchangeable magnetic top frames that you just pop on, and it completely just changes the look of your glasses. So let's talk about the two different styles that I have. The ones that I'm currently wearing and obsessing over are these ones, which are the Murphy in the tortoise shade. The Murphys are a little bit more, they're not necessarily cat eye, but they kind of are, but they're your basic kind of glass, but they're a little bit bigger, which I love. And then I also have the Kirby style, which these are a little bit more square and a little bit smaller. How these work is you just pick out your base frame and then you can add as many top frames as you so please. And you can, oops. You can easily switch out your style on a day-to-day -day basis. It's super easy to get started with Pear Eyewear. All you will do is go to their website. You will just go to PearEyewear.com. You can browse their homepage, see what new collections they have going on. You can shop by women's, men's, or kids. Once you go into shop women's, men's, or kids, you will then select your base frame. Like I said, I have the Kirby and the Murphy. From there, you can decide whatever types of add-ons you want. If you want a progressive lens, if you want a double lens, I don't do any prescription in mine because I don't need that, even though I probably should do that soon. I only add on blue light filtering because your girl needs that. And then from there, you can scroll through the top frames and choose as many as you like. And that is literally it. It is so easy to get started with pair eyewear and start changing out your glasses as you so please. Obviously, there are a lot of things that I love about pair eyewear. One of those being how easy it is to travel with these. If you don't know, Chris and I love to travel a lot. It's very hard to bring regular glasses and then sunglasses or a couple of different style of glasses. So I love that I can just put three, four, five, maybe even six top frames in this. And then I can just wear my base frame and this is legitimately all I need to travel with as many pairs of glasses as I so please. I love their pair for a pair program, which when you buy a base frame, they donate, they donate a base frame to somebody in need. And I love their affordability. I love that I can buy one single pair of glasses and then just add on top frames to fit all my different occasion styles preferences and all that good stuff. So if you want to get started with pair eyewear and get yourself your very first pair today, you can use the link down in my description box or you can use the code Lexi's reading 15 at checkout and you will get 15% off your first order. So make sure to go check them out. Highly recommend them. We'll never stop wearing these and I just absolutely love these eyeglasses. So make sure to check them out. But without further ado, let's get right back into the vlog. I look a little rough right now because I feel a little rough right now. I am feeling like I'm starting to get a cold and it's just not good. <laughs> Reason being, the weather in New York right now is all over the place. Like this past weekend, it was legit like 60, 50 degrees and now it's back in the 30s. And it's totally just messing with like my sinuses and my allergies and just not feeling great. But. I decided I would start a kind of like a weekly vlog right now because I'm going to post a certain video next week, but I don't think it's going to happen until the week after. And instead of not having anything, I was like, all right, what can I film? And I'm not going to take up too much of my time, even though it will. And I was like, oh, I could just do another week or days in my life vlog. It seems like people really like these, and so we're just going to go with it. But it is Wednesday morning, March 20th. I am going to make myself a little bit of breakfast before I head out for work. I don't even know where I'm going today, so i got to figure that out too. I just dropped Louie off at daycare, and now I need to make breakfast because if I don't eat breakfast right now, I'm probably going to feel even more shitty, and I feel like I need to put some food in my body. So we're going to make breakfast. We're going to head out to work, and then we'll be back later and do God knows what. I definitely need to do dishes. Like This is the current situation. Those are all clean and dry at one point in the wrong way. Those are all clean and dry, and then obviously I have a sink full of dishes that I just need to put in the dishwasher and then run the dishwasher. Other than that, I have one other the update. The only other update I have is I'm currently reading The Reformatory by Tana Reeve Du. This is a historical fiction horror about this kid that 
Robbie kicked Lyle McCormick, which Lyle McCormick is like royalty pretty much in this time. And obviously this is when like slavery was a thing, like kind of right after slavery was a thing. And Robbie is black, Lyle is white. And Robbie kicked him in defense of his sister. And Robbie's dad is in Chicago, like working, trying to make money for them. His mom just died. I don't know how long ago, but he like thinks that he can see her ghost in the night. And I guess after this kick, I haven't gotten that far. I've literally read two chapters. I guess after this kick, he sent to this school called the Reformatory for like troubled kids and some paranormal crazy shit starts happening. So hoping to finish this by Sunday, but I don't know if that's realistic. Friday, we are leaving to go to Boston. I should start cooking when I do this. There's no fucking eggs up here. Of course there isn't. Okay, so there's no eggs, which they're downstairs. I'm just too fucking lazy to go get them. Um, so I'm gonna make myself an English muffin. I'm gonna make my coffee and we'll be good to go. But we're going to Boston this weekend for my cousin's wedding. What? My cousin's birthday. I don't know where that just came from. And my sister and brother-in-law are coming, so I'm so excited. So I'm really hoping that whatever, oh, I should take some vitamin T. I'm hoping that whatever is going on in my nose and my sinuses is just gonna be like gone by then. I definitely wanna take some vitamin T. I need to do that. But, oh, I gotta take my greens too. I'm all over the place. When I like get like this, my brain just turns to mush, even though my brain is mush 99% of my life. But. I'm gonna stop talking because it's just, every time I talk something, it just doesn't work. So I'm gonna go make myself some breakfast, have my greens, and then get ready for work. And then I'll be back later. Hello friends. I know it looks like I just started, ended filming that last clip, but it's been a couple hours. I'm home from work. I'm in the same clothes and I feel like shit. It hasn't like fully hit me yet, but like I'm at that point where my body is so exhausted and I can just like feel it coming in here in the back of my neck, so it's not great. But I'm gonna do these dishes really quick, start the dishwasher, and then I got stuff to make myself homemade chicken noodle soup because if you saw my last Days of My Life vlog that went up last Thursday, so a week from today, when you're watching this, I am saying how I made crisp French onion soup and I like making soup since I got my Dutch oven, so I'm gonna make myself some homemade chicken noodle soup and hope that that makes me feel a little bit better. There's just like nothing better than oh, soup when you're sick. So I'm gonna make it after I clean up and then I'm gonna sit in my reading room actually because I haven't sat there in a while and either take a nap or hopefully get some reading done before I have to pick up Louie from daycare. So let's go. the reading room and I actually think I'm gonna film my April TBR jar picks today like right now because I have some free time and with going away this weekend I need to have the video up by Monday and I know myself I'm not gonna do like film it edit it and post it on Sunday or I'm not gonna do it Monday morning because I'm gonna have to work so I had a couple prompts come into my head as I was like you know living life the last couple days so I think I'm gonna add a couple more prompts, one being your newest book, like the book I bought the most recent. Watch me get this one. What were the other prompts I thought? This is why I have to write things down. Um, 
I don't remember. Let's put next book in a series you're currently reading because there's a couple of series that I'm in the middle of that I really, really, really want to read. Oh, I want to put one that says go to library and pick a book. I'm going to put one for Nevermore. That's a new book that I have. And obviously I can do like specific books that I want to read. So I'll do that. Let's put, I don't know if I put TJ Klune in there. Oh, I want to put one for Emily St. John Randall because I have a couple of her books that I want to read. I also have completely decided to give up on my reading booktubers favorites video because, oh shit, I got to go pick Louie. Um, it's just not happening. Like, it's just not happening. So I'm going to put prompts to maybe put those books that I didn't read back on here and see if we read them at some point this year. I'm going to put a couple more in and then film that video. And then I'm going to sit down and relax and read and enjoy my soup. My soup looks so good, I'm not going to lie. And I made cookies because we're going to Chris's parents later. So, but I'll be back. Okay, not to toot my own horn, but that chicken noodle soup looks so damn good. The only difference I would do next time is adding like another maybe half container of chicken broth because I added more noodles than the recipe called for <laughs> because I wanted mine extra noodly. And it definitely needs a little more chicken broth, but I have that and then some cookies that I made. Louis here ready to catch any droppings. Mm. Oh, really? Uh, I filmed my TBR video. I just have to have Chris pick one more book and then I'm going to wrap it up and I'm going to sit here. <laughs> That's not what I'm watching. I'm watching Drake and Josh, but we're going to watch Drake and Josh on Netflix and get some reading done. If anybody is wondering why I hate New York so much, it's this right here. I don't know if you can tell, but it is legit snowing. Like if I, yeah. Can you see that? It's freaking snowing. Like it is almost April. And this past weekend, I was sitting in my gazebo, enjoying the sun. It was like 60 degrees, and now it's 30 degrees and fucking snowing. This, exactly, is why I hate New York. And I can't wait to move south where it's warm. Louis does not feel the same because Louis loves the snow. I'm happy it's snowing. No? That is like straight up depressing. But anyways, my chicken noodle soup was unreal. It was so good. Uh, yeah. And I definitely feel a little bit better after that. I'm still feeling kind of like shitty. Louis drinking his water aggressively, per usual. I'm gonna go sit in my reading room, do a little bit of reading. I think we're going over to Chris's parents at like seven maybe. I have until like 6.45 to read. And it's like five o'clock right now. So we're gonna read for the next little while. And then I will either be back tonight or tomorrow morning. Most likely tomorrow morning. Can I help you? <laughs> okay, hello friends. It is now Thursday afternoon. I didn't come back last night for an update because we stayed at Chris's parents longer than Chris was planning to. Came home and Lily went straight to bed and then this morning it was hectic per usual so I didn't have time to come in and check in. But I'm home from work now and we have a list of things to do which I'm gonna write out right now because today is Thursday, obviously. Tomorrow, we are going to Boston for my cousin's birthday and I have a ton of shit I need to do before that. And for that trip, uh, excuse me, camera, I'm right here. Sometimes this camera like just randomly like floats somewhere else. Anyways, um, so I gotta write down a list of things that I need to get done before then. First thing I know I need to do is obviously pack I need to bring air mattress, but I need to figure out which one I'm going to bring. I need to edit my TBR video, but Crystal needs to pick his book. So when, like, see what I'm talking about? Like, what are you drifting to? <laughs> like that camera literally just went all the way over here. Anyways, um, I need to edit my April TBR video. It's doing it as I'm watching. <laughs> Uh, I need to edit my April TBR video, but Chris still has to pick his choice because that was one of the prompts I picked. So when Chris gets home from work today, I'll have him choose his pick. And then tomorrow, I'll probably film the, like the close, the outro clip and get it edited, scheduled, and whatnot. I would like to bring Louie for a you-know-what, but it's like ridiculously cold and windy today. So I think I might just bring him to saddle 
Like, what are you focusing on? I think I'll just bring him to a saddlewood and let him run around a little bit. I need to shower. It's hair wash day. The problem is I think of all these things when I'm driving in my car, and then when I get home, all that information just escapes my brain. Honestly, I think that's it. And as things pop up, I will just add them to my list. And I am working from home tomorrow, so I'll have time. Oh, my nails! I need to redo my nails because these are getting pretty janky, and I need to do them before. Oh, I know. And then I need to put my cousin's birthday gift together and wrap it. Other than that, I think that's it. What is this camera? Like, I just don't get it. Pretty sure that's it. And then I obviously want to get some reading done because jokes on me. I literally filmed myself, like, opening my book and then did not read a single thing. So I'm still in chapter two and I did not read anything yesterday. Honestly, I think that's it for now. But I'm going to go upstairs right now. Actually, maybe I should figure out what air mattress I need to bring. I need to bring a full-size air mattress or a queen-size air mattress. But I have, like four air mattresses for no reason and my parents took two of them on a trip that they just went on and they said that one of the pumps didn't work so I gotta figure that out and figure out which one works which one doesn't honestly I feel like packing right now I know it's not gonna take me that long because we're literally only going Friday night Saturday during the day and Saturday at night and then coming home Sunday and I only need like three actual outfits and then jammies and toiletries and all that so I know it's not gonna take me that long to pack so maybe I'll just get that over with so that's what we're gonna go do. Lily <laughs> said, I am not allowed to do anything but give him love right now. Ready? Yep, he said, nope. Nothing but attention for me right now. I just finished packing. I just obviously have to do a couple <laughs> last minute things tomorrow. Oh, he's being a brat. Mm. Stop! Mm. What? Oh, you want your beddy scratched. Yeah. Um, so I'm going to go look at our air mattresses right now and see which one I'm gonna bring. And then after that, I might bring Louie to Saddlewood and get that out of the way. So that way I can come back, shower, and do my nails, and then be done with all of that for the rest of the night. And then literally all I'll have to do is wrap my cousin's birthday present, which that's easy. And then I'll really only need to edit my April TBR video, which I can also do that tomorrow during the day. Honestly, I always feel so much better after I pack because packing is one of those things that like, I get so stressed if I forget one little thing and that's why I have a whole set of toiletries for travel purposes. Like I have an entire set of makeup, skincare, hair care, shower stuff specifically for traveling that just stays packed all the time. That way when I go to pack, I don't have to pack all my makeup. I don't have to pack all my skincare. I don't have to pack all my bot, like my shower stuff. I don't have to pack makeup brushes. I have all of that stuff like already packed and it just stays in my suitcase. So that makes it so much easier to pack but I just put all my outfits together. The only thing I have to like put in my bag tomorrow is obviously all my medicines that I need and then I think that's it. Whatever book I'm reading, which is the reformatory still, so I'll bring that. And then obviously I just need to bring my wallet. But I think that's pretty much it. Right now I'm gonna go look and see what I have for air mattresses, put those in by our front door, and then I think I'm gonna bring Louis Saddlewood because he needs to get some of his energy out. He's actually being a sweet little baby angel right now, but Louis. He looks like a baby deer when he lays like that. Like, he's just so long. Oh, you got your wiggly tail? Oh, I do, yay. Mm. Oh. He's such a crybaby. Mm. <laughs> oh. But, okay. Oh, okay. You don't want your ears rubbed anymore? I'm gonna go get some stuff done. I want to be able to like chill tonight. Yeah, that's all I got for now. I will be back at some point. I don't know what you're going to see next. It might be some B-roll of me and Louie doing something, but who knows. But I'll be back later. Hello friends, checking in for an update. It has been, I don't even know how long since I last checked in, but I did bring Louie to Saddlewood. I came home, did all the dishes and whatnot. 
I actually uploaded all the clips I needed to for this vlog that I'm filming right now and my April TBR so I don't have to do that tomorrow. The last couple of things on my to-do list are edit that April TBR video, which I'm just gonna do that tomorrow. And then tonight I just need to shower, like wash my hair and everything, and then do my nails, which I can do that later today. I'm gonna sit here until Chris gets home and maybe like the next half hour, 45 minutes, get some reading done hopefully. <laughs> I have not made any progress on this and it's just, it's slow going. I don't know, the last book I read was Magnolia Parks and I think I'm in a reading slump from it. Like hardcore reading slump. So if I just get my shower and my nails done tonight, I'll be good and then tomorrow, I really only have this one project I need to do at work, which I'm working from home tomorrow and it involves a lot of computer stuff. So I really only need to do that and edit and schedule the April TBR video so I don't have to worry about it when I get back. Obviously do some last minute packing, shower, and then I'm gonna get ready before I go to Boston because we're not going and we're not getting there until later and my sister and brother-in-law and cousin and her husband are already gonna be out and about. So we're just gonna meet them and just go straight out. So I need to like be ready to go before we get there. I don't know if I'll vlog much when we're in Boston. I'm gonna bring my little DJI camera, but Obviously not everybody wants to be recorded and filmed and I'm not gonna like bring my freaking camera out when we're out like drinking and whatnot. So probably won't get much filmed over the weekend and then I'll probably end this video on Monday or Tuesday of next week. So hopefully there's enough su enough substance. I always like worry that there's enough like footage for each vlog and then when I go to edit it, it ends up being like an hour long and I'm like, what the hell? Like I thought I had nothing and I thought I didn't talk at all, but <laughs> I don't know. So I am putting on Drake and Josh and it's actually so weird to watch this right now with all of the stuff coming out about Dan Schreiner and Nickelodeon, like with the Quiet On Set documentary coming out, which I've been like binging on TikTok. I don't have any way to watch it because I don't have the streaming service that it's on, but I've been watching it on TikTok and it is just insane. So I started watching Drake and Josh before that came out. So now I can't stop because I need, I want to like keep watching and I just love Drake and Josh, but it is very sad to watch now knowing what Drake Bell went through. I'm gonna sit here, watch that, hopefully get some reading done. I did make myself some French press coffee that once it's a little bit cooled down, I will then eat it, eat it. <laughs> I will have myself a cup of afternoon coffee, which I know is not great, but I don't think French press coffee is that strong. And obviously I'm working from home tomorrow, so it's almost like I don't have to like go to bed as early as I normally do. I'm gonna heat up some of the chicken noodle soup that I made for myself yesterday. And Chris and I are gonna have grilled cheese and chicken noodle soup for dinner. That's like one of my favorite meals. That just brings me back to my childhood when I would stay at my grandmother's and grandfather's. They would always make me grilled cheese and chicken noodle soup. So that's what we're having for dinner tonight because it's super easy and the, new, the chicken noodle soup is already made. And by the way, it was amazing. I don't know if I said that already in this vlog. I think I did, but I don't know. So once Chris gets home, I'll start doing that because it won't take me that long. I'm gonna sit here, hopefully get some reading done, watch some Drake and Josh, and then chill out for a little bit. So I'll be back at some point. I don't know. Oh. the 22nd at literally only 8 30 a.m and it has already been quite a day i'm laughing to make it seem like things not are not as bad as they are but so obviously i am working and i'm working from home i woke up this morning to a text from one of my stores in the city i'm not gonna get into it because it's private but basically something really bad happened to one of our drivers and then i plugged in my laptop charger for both my laptops and all of a sudden the fucking outlet just started sparking which i'm pretty sure i caught it on camera so you probably have already seen this i literally was like oh this is gonna be a rough day isn't it so i got a fat glass of coffee i am drinking the french press from 
that I made yesterday. I didn't even have any yesterday. I did read like two or three chapters in the reformatory and we're at the point where Robert, the one who kicked the rich white man, is being sent to the reformatory and that's pretty much all we know. Uh, this book stems a lot about, or talks a lot about racism and how it was in the 1950s, so it's pretty brutal, honestly. There's really graphic words, so if you're sensitive to stuff like that, definitely look up trigger warnings if you do decide to read this and make sure you know what you're getting yourself into because I don't love reading stuff like that and it just, I don't know, every time I see this certain one word, it just like, bleh. It just, uh, it just bothers me. Anyways, I can't even like think thoughts right now because of the morning I've had. I'm going to sit here and I have two trainings that I need to do today, which I think they each only take like 15 minutes. So I'm going to do that. And then I got to go run a couple of quick errands. And then I'm going to come back, finish some of my computer work that I have to do for my full-time job. Do the editing on the April TBR video. If I don't get it all done today, I'm not going to be that upset. I will have time to do it on Sunday and I'll be fine. I just don't want to have to do all of it on Sunday and feel stressed. So if I can get half of the video edited today and then finish it when I get back, that'll be fine. Um, and then I just need to shower. Did not do my nails last night. I, I don't know. I think I just mentally checked out of life yesterday. So before we leave, I'll need to shower, do my nails, and then do my makeup and get dressed and whatnot. So cheers. Okay. Hello, friends. So I am a dumbass. And... Just threw in a load of laundry because I think I want to bring this one bodysuit to Boston with me. And we have such shitty water pressure at this house that we can't run the dishwasher or run the washing machine. And I couldn't take a shower. So I literally went to go take a shower and realized I oh, can't do that. So I figured, hold on. I figured while I wait for the washing machine to be done. I will put the new flowers that I got in my vase for my dining room. I wanted to get like light pink peonies and then I saw these and they're like silk and they look real and they feel real. So I'm going to put a bunch of these. I got I think seven of these big ones and then I got some smaller filler flowers to put in between. And if you know me, you know I don't love color. So for me to buy something this colorful is like, girl, are you okay? But I saw them and I was like, you know what? That would add a really pretty pop of color in our, like, we call it our back room because it's like a dining room, living room situation. I don't have color pretty much anywhere in my house. And I just saw these and I fell in love with them. And I was like, yep. I had to go to a couple different Michaels too to get the big flowers because they, each Michaels I went to only had like two or three in stock. So I had to go to like two different Michaels, I think. Like I hate getting flowers. And then you put them in the thing and you don't have enough. And then by the time you get a chance to go back out and get more, there's none left. So I wanted to avoid that, but I'm going to put these in this vase that I have. I'll show you in a second. It's just this big, like milk jug looking thing. I got that from Hobby Lobby years ago, but they always have stuff like that. So if you like it, you could definitely easily find it. <laughs> I'm having a rough day. So I had the whole thing with our driver this morning and then I like almost blew up a fucking outlet. And then I was out running some errands. I had to go pick up something for my sister and then go to the bank to get cash. And as I turned down my street, a fucking black cat ran across the street. And I'm so superstitious. And I was like, damn, like that's not a good sign. So I was like, what the hell? But I'm trying to think positive. Anyways, let's see how long I need to cut these. I need to cut a lot off. So like, I'm cut here. I hate cutting these things. Well, that went flying. Let's see. Okay, that could work. If we need to cut them shorter, we can. I like making flower arrangements, but it's it's work. Like, you can't just throw all these shits together. You want them to, like, look nice, right? But anyways, in terms of life, that is pretty much all that's going on in my life. And I cannot wait to go to Boston tonight and see my sister, my cousin, and their hubbies. And just enjoy a weekend with family and Chris went to school in New Hampshire and a lot of his school friends live in Boston now so we're gonna see some of his school friends I think one of my college friends lives in Boston now so hopefully we'll be able to see her too I want to like intersperse that's not a word for sure I think I need another big one in the middle I'm honestly shocked when I realized how much I love these flowers 
because like I said, there's not much color in my house and everybody's always telling me that I need to bring more color into my house. And I'm like, one, mind your business. And two, no, I don't. I don't like color. I'm just a very neutral girl. Like even mine and Chris's wedding was neutral. Like the boys wore like linen tan suits and I had the girls wear like two different color beiges because I just, I don't like color. I don't know what it is. I just, I like everything to look neutral and simple. And I think it's because I love Joanna Gaines and everything she does is very neutral and simple. So, holy crap, this looks so pretty. Look at this. Look at how pretty that looks. And these flowers, I don't know. I feel like they look real. But how pretty is that? I mean, it's a little much and these are like really tall. Maybe I can cut those down a little bit, but I think that looks so pretty. We're going to do some finagling of this. I think I'm going to cut these down a little bit more, not much. I think they're just sticking out too much for my liking. This weekend, like I told you before, I don't think I'll be vlogging much because I just wanna like enjoy my time and I'm not somebody that needs to vlog every single aspect of their life. Like, yeah, it's fun and all and I know people probably would like to see that, but when I'm with my family, I like to be totally with my family and dissociated from everything. So, oops, gotta put that downstairs. But anyways, I am going to get some more computer work done. I got a decent amount of computer work done for my full-time job and I needed a break from it because it's a lot of like, it's easy stuff that I'm doing today, but it's a lot of repetitive, like clicking and moving and downloading and blah, blah, blah. So it gets boring after a while. So I think right now I'm going to maybe edit a little bit of the April TBR video. And then once my laundry is done and switched over to the dryer, I can then go shower and do all that. I think I'm gonna blow dry my hair because I don't want it to look gross. I want it to look like I actually tried to do it. Probably do that. And then I will be back when I'm back. Hi, hello friends. I am out of the shower. I'm just gonna do my skincare right now. I'm not gonna blow dry my hair yet. I'm starving, I haven't eaten today. So I'm gonna do my daytime skincare routine, which you've heard me talk about like a million times before. And then I'm gonna go make myself some lunch. After that, we'll probably do more computer work and then I'll dry my hair when it's like halfway dry. Cause I wanna use my little like Revlon blow dry brush thing that is like straight. I need to take a picture for the April TBR video. I ended up editing the entire thing, which is fantastic because I was waiting for my laundry to be done anyways. And the video is only like 23 minutes long. So it didn't take me that long to edit. So I just need to take the thumbnail for that because, hold on, I gotta get a restock. Needed to restock my vitamin C from The Ordinary because when I get like almost done with the product, I'll put it in my travel bag because I keep toiletries separate. Like I have travel toiletries so I never have to worry about packing them. So I put the one that was like half empty in there because I had a backup. Uh, anyways, what was I saying? Oh, I've been having issues with my Canon camera. I have Canon G7 X Mark II, and the focus on it is terrible. Like, if I show something up close and then pull it away, I literally have to wait like 30 seconds for it to decide to focus back on me. So, if you know anything about cameras like that, please let me know how to fix that so I don't have to deal with it. It's so annoying, and I hate technology, and I just don't get it. So, I could look it up on YouTube, but... If it doesn't work, I get frustrated and I'm just not trying to have that kind of day because it's already a weird day. I am going to go make myself some food now. We'll get some more computer work done. Come up, get ready, take a thumbnail, and then it'll almost be time for me to go. I have to meet Chris at his office at 4. I need to leave here around like 3.45 to get there. My mom's going to drop me off so I don't have to leave a car there. If I don't film anything in Boston, the next couple of clips you'll see are going to be me doing my hair and makeup, but that won't come until a little bit later. And maybe me making some food, I don't know. And then if you don't see any clips from Boston, I'm sorry, but I had too much fun, apparently. And I don't really wanna bring out my camera. I'm gonna bring my little DJI camera with me, but I don't really wanna like bring it out with us in case anything were to ever happen, you know? So if you don't see me in Boston, you will see me when I get back, maybe Monday morning. I feel like I'm gonna be a little hungover and feeling a little rough on Sunday. So I'm probably not gonna wanna come home and like film and stuff, so. The next time you may see me after all the B-roll you're about to see will probably be Monday morning when I am back from Boston and heading to work from the day or either getting back from work. Enjoy whatever comes next. So we made half a grilled cheese and we have some leftover chicken noodle soup from when I made it the other night. 
We have a dog patiently waiting for his portion. You're not getting any. I just gave you a chicken. It is now Tuesday, March 26th at about 8.30 a.m. I'm heading out for the day. I'm gonna be out of the house by nine. It's been a couple days. We obviously went to Boston this past weekend and Chris and I came home and literally just vegged out on the couch and both took naps when we got home on Sunday. And then Saturday, we, no, Monday, we both woke up and just didn't feel great. Like I felt so exhausted and Chris, came home from work last night and I was like, I don't feel good. I feel like I'm getting a fever. It's been a little rough coming back. We definitely can't hang like we used to, but I think Chris is just getting sick because he's so run down all the time from going to the gym and then working crazy hours at work. I actually think I'm getting my period two weeks early like I have been for the last two fucking months. So that's fun. We have been like trying so hard to get our shit together since we got back from Boston on Sunday and it just has not worked like. And part of the reason specifically for me is because when we were in Boston on Saturday, it snowed like crazy in Albany. So when we came home Sunday, we came home to a shitload of snow and that's just like depressing for me. Like I was so mentally, I seasonal depression hit me hard this winter. I was doing great once it started to get warm out. Like the weekend that Chris was in Miami was two weekends ago now. And that weekend in New York, it was like finally starting to feel like spring. And then literally a week later, it snows. And it's just like so hard on my immune system because I get really sick when that happens. And then I'm just mentally not doing great <laughs> because I'm just so miserable that it's so fucking cold. It's almost friggin' April and I'm still stuck inside my house. Louie's been driving me crazy because he's like, oh snow, let's go play in it. And I'm like, no, fuck that. On top of coming home from a weekend with your cousins and your sister and brother-in-law and parting your asses off, coming home to snow has been quite depressing, if I do say so myself. So this is literally the first time I've felt like good enough to pick up a camera. Like yesterday, I try, I was gonna try so hard to like record stuff and I was like, no, I can't. <laughs> like. If I pick up a camera right now, it's just not gonna be good. And that just goes back to the whole point of like, influencers' lives always seem so perfect, but we're like, they don't pick up the cameras when they feel like that. And yesterday was a perfect example of that. Like, I wasn't feeling 100%. I didn't pick up a camera when I was feeling like that because I'm just gonna be on there miserable and negative. And it just goes to show that like, not everything is as happy-go-lucky as it seems. Even though I'm sitting on here right now telling you I'm mentally not doing great. One, because the weather is just back to being shitty. And two, I think I'm getting my period. Which has been, this is the third month in a row that it's come two weeks into my new like birth control pack. So if I really do get it, I'm going to have to message my doctor through like our online portal because... Yeah, that's not supposed to happen when you're on medicine, so. That was my quick little update. I'm not putting on makeup today because my skin is going berserk right now and I don't want to make it worse, so. I'm just gonna leave it bare face today and throw on a pair of glasses to hide everything, and yeah. I'm actually going to Kingston today, so I'm only going like an hour away. I've been meeting at 10, and then I think I'm just gonna do a ton of computer work at the Barnes & Noble that's right down the street from the store because you guys know I love that Barnes & Noble. And if I sit in a McDonald's, I will get stuff done, but I get very distracted by like all the noise and stuff that's going on. So if I go to a Barnes and Noble where it's like nice and quiet and I can sit in the cafe, like I will be much more focused. So that's what I'm gonna do. And then we will be back later this afternoon. <laughs> Okay, don't judge, but I am a thousand percent 
having an afternoon cup of coffee because it's 3 30 and i'm not gonna make it through the rest of the day if i don't so i got a little bit of french press coffee left over from a couple days ago so we're gonna finish this off Perfect amount. Oh, I gotta go get my freaking almond milk from downstairs, BRB. Okay, back in business. Just adding a little bit of the white chocolate syrup. Some, oops, <laughs> some almond milk. And the afternoon coffee is good to go. Excuse me? What's wrong? What'd you just say to me? Hmm? Say it again. Now that the camera's on, you wanna be all quiet? What were you just saying to me? He's ignoring me now. Would you like a treat? Okay. You sit? Can you speak? That's a fake speak. Speak! <laughs> speak! Good boy. Hello, friends. It is a little bit later on Tuesday. I... I have a little haul for you that is from Boston. We went to like a little local bookstore that my cousin likes loves. So I figured I would show you what I got. All right, the first thing I got is actually a little cross stitch set. Cross stitch set. I don't know how I'm gonna feel about this, but it's just a cute little strawberry. And I chose this design because it just looked super easy and it looked like something that I could actually easily accomplish. So we'll see. I don't even see, know what's in here. So it basically comes with everything you need, but I wanted to get the smallest design they had because I don't know how I'm gonna do with cross stitch. But the next thing I got is the Patty Wax Libraries Jane Austen candle. It comes in this really pretty like rose gold tin and it's got two wicks. This is scented like gardenia, tuberose, and jasmine. This just smells like spring to me. And when I smelled this, I was like, oh my God, I need this for my reading room. I got a couple of stickers for my Kindle because I am waiting on a or sticker order to come in and then I wanna redecorate my Kindle. Oh, I also got a new Kindle case. I might as well show you these now. And I got a new pop socket for my Kindle which you can barely see, but. The first sticker I got is, hang on, let me girl math this. How freaking cute is this sticker? Like, come on, how adorable is she with her little perks and drink? The next one I got is this one. It says, hot girls read, accurate. The last one I got is just this really cute Taylor Swift one. Like I said, I'm not like the world's biggest Taylor Swift fan, but I do think she's crushing it and I couldn't resist that sticker, especially since the outfit that she's wearing in it is my favorite from her concerts. <laughs> I got two bookmarks and I don't know why they would put freaking stickers on them because if I can't get all these stickers off nicely and perfectly, it's gonna bother me. And I actually have one bookmark from this company before. I thought it was a local bookmark seller to like the Albany area, but when I saw it in Boston, I was like, oh, I don't know where they're local out of. They totally could be local out of Albany. But I was surprised to see this company, which it's called Ingrid Press USA. So I got two bookmarks because I picked out this first one and fell in love with it and then i saw this other one and also fell in love with that and i couldn't leave either of them behind so they are both double-sided and i couldn't decide on just one so i got both how cute are these and then these are the opposite side just thought those were super cute and then i did get one thing for the one year booktube anniversary giveaway box but i can't show you that because it's supposed to be a surprise and then i did get one book which just taking the sticker off this one too. The book was actually on sale for like $8, so I was like, why not? It's called A One to Watch by Kate Stamen London. How cute is this cover? So this is the place we went to. It was Trident Booksellers and Cafe. It was super cute in there. I was gonna try to like take pictures, but it was just, it was very busy and I was not, not feeling it. I feel like this author has another book, but I don't know. The one that I read, but we'll see. I honestly don't really know what it is. It's some sort of rom-com romance book so we shall see and then my cousin actually sent me home with this book which is you'd be home now by kathleen lascow i have no idea if that's how you pronounce it she told me that she basically read it in one day because it was so good and so bingeable i'll read you the quick synopsis it says it's finally peaceful now that my wild and tr troubled brother is gone and i feel guilty about loving this piece i don't know clearly it has something to do with drugs because there's pills on the front but now that the little haul is done i quickly want to talk about my reading progress i finished yours truly by abby jimenez today I listened to the audiobook. I liked this one so much better than Part of Your World. And I don't know why that is. I think it was because I liked the banter between these two characters better. 
Like, <laughs> the way these two were with each other, like, I found myself cracking up in the car when I was listening to this audiobook. And, I don't know, I just, I liked... But, yeah, I don't know, I just like this one better. I gave this four stars. I gave the first one four stars, but... I don't know. I liked this one a lot better, and then my camera battery is blinking at me, so I need to get going. I am still reading The Reformatory by Tana Reeve Du. I'm on page 90, and this is slow going. It's also a thick book, so I'm like tempted to DNF, but it's not that I'm not enjoying it. It's just a very long, dense book. I got this like black kid that kicks one of the most notorious white kids, and he gets sent to this reformatory for bad children and it basically is a prison and he starts to feel everybody's like presence that died there and I'm sure I'm gonna figure out some fucked up shit that happened at this school but that's my little update I'm gonna wrap this up quickly because my camera is legitimately seconds away from dying I don't know what I'm gonna do for the next couple hours I definitely want to take Louie for a walk and get some reading done but I'll be back hello friends I have moved locations I am now in our like family room I guess you could call it and I just need some advice. So for the last like two weeks really, since finishing Magnolia Barks, I have been in such a reading slump. Like I don't wanna read anything. Like I don't wanna read books that I know are gonna be good and I don't wanna read the books that I'm trying to read now, which is The Reformatory by Tana Reeve Du. And it's not because these books are bad, it's I just legitimately have no willpower or brain power or motivation to read because I've been so addicted to like my phone and TikTok. But there's also like so much going on in the world that I like kind of don't really care because it's keeping me up to date. Like this whole Quiet on Set documentary with Nickelodeon kids is all over the place obviously and then my For You page is filled with like this P. Diddy drama which is also just fucking mind blowing. And it's just, I also get addicted to that. And it's like, I don't feel like reading. And I pretty much read my entire TBR for the month of March. And I was kind of like, all right, I can give myself like last week off from forcing myself to read and trying to finish books because I have this whole week, which we're in right now, to finish the reformatory. And I am just reading this slowly. It's not because it's a bad book. It's just, I think that's the kind of way this book is. It's just very slow and just very, very, very non-detailed, I guess. <laughs> like... We're on page 90 and this kid literally just got to the reformatory. Why did it take almost 100 pages for him to get there? I'm having a hard time like really getting into this and reading a decent amount of like portions at a time. And it's not that I haven't had the time to read it. I haven't wanted to make the time to read and I'd rather sit on my phone because I'm just like not into this book and I know some people are gonna be like, well, don't read it then. But if you look at Goodreads, this book has like almost a five-star rating. People are saying it's like one of the best horror books I've ever read. And I'm like, really? Cause when does that start? Like I'm not saying this book is bad by any means, but like, it's just slow. Like what point does it get like good? Like the first couple of reviews are all five stars saying that this is incredible. I don't know. I did put a hold for the audiobook through the Libby app, so maybe. But also the hold is not available for another like 19 weeks. It says I'm 19th in line. There's two copies in use and 20 people are waiting in total. So then I was like, well, do I buy the audiobook for this? But the friggin audiobook is $20. Like why? Let's see what it sounds like. Watching him sleep. It's groggy brain, but think. I think I'm just gonna like maybe read to 150 pages and if I'm not like flying through this I should just stop and maybe wait till my hold comes through on my audiobook because I'm not spending $20 on an audiobook when I already bought the fucking book itself. So I don't know. I'm struggling. <laughs> I'm just not doing great today. I thought I could like pick the camera up and record everything in my life and I just I can't today. But I did want to come on here and talk about that. I'm going to sit here and just veg out for probably the rest of the day. It's about 5 p.m. Chris should be home from work in like the next hour or so. He hasn't been feeling good and we literally just like when he gets home, we literally just veg out on the couch. Luckily, I already walked Louie, so he'll be somewhat calm for the rest of the night. But once Chris gets home, we'll probably eat dinner and then just chill out. I think I'm going to try to force myself to read. I don't know how many more pages and if I'm not into it. I'm just gonna, I'm not gonna DNF it. I'm just gonna put it down for now until maybe my audiobook comes through and then go from there. It's just going too slow for me and I think I need to just be okay with not reading it. But like, I want to read it. That's the problem is I want to read it, but I just wish it was like 200 pages shorter. Like this book is almost 600 pages. Like why is it so fucking long? So you know what? Maybe I will just like put it down for now. I just, I don't think I can read this much more. Like I've been having, carrying this book around with me for like a week now and only read 90 pages. 
And this is the dent I've made. This is what I have left to read, this whole fucking chunk. And I just, I don't think it's going to happen this quickly. And I don't think it'll happen in this next week, so. I'm going to stop talking and I'll be back at some point with an update. Does anybody else's dog purposely put things under the couch like this one does? Look at it. He has a squeaker and I promise you he's going to put it under the couch. Yeah, there he goes. Oh. Give him a second, I promise you he will. Oh my god, so Louis loves playing with squeakers and he never like swallows them, so it never really makes me nervous, but I love ripping toys open for him so he can pull the stuffing out and get the squeaker out. It just keeps his brain stimulated and honestly, he's so funny when he does it. Like I literally just sat there and played with him for like 20 minutes while he was trying to chew a squeaker. And that brought me so much joy and happiness, but I just had to share that because I thought it was so funny. I'm going to read now. I'm going to read hopefully to part three of the reformatory and if I don't feel the same way I'm just gonna move on and read something else okay I just got to page 100 and I can't I can't do it so we're gonna go pick another book we're gonna hope that I get the audiobook sooner than the Libby app says I'm going to but we're gonna definitely listen to the audiobook I don't think I can read this physically I think it's too long and too slow for me to read physically and waste my time when I could probably squeeze in one more book before March is over. Also, I forgot to mention that I started the audiobook for Stalking Jack the Ripper by Carrie Maniscalco and I'm 11% in and really enjoying it so far. It's basically about this girl who her uncle does like forensic science and like investigation and kind of looks at bodies and figures out how they died and there's like a string of murders that all seem very similar so then she tries to figure out who murdered them and why and so... I'm enjoying that, but I'm gonna go pick another book to read physically. Probably something that's sh on the shorter side. It's something that I know I can finish quickly because this month is over in a couple days and I wanna be able to finish it before the end of March. That way I can start my April TBR first thing in April. I don't wanna start a book for my April TBR just yet, but I'm gonna go pick a book and then I'll be right back. Okay, I have five different book options that I'm gonna go with and all are thrillers because I think I need a very quick thriller to just like power through because thrillers are where my love of reading started. So let's pick from these. And how I'm going to pick is I'm, I'm going to look these all up on Goodreads and whatever one has the highest rating is the one I'm going to choose. Let's see, the first one I have is The Lake by Natasha Preston, which has a 3.42. Not great, but also not terrible. The next book I have is A Small Affair by Flora Collins. 3.35. So that one has fewer rating, lower rating than The Lake. So, so far it's The Lake. I have The Girl from Widow Hills by Megan Miranda, which I have loved pretty much all the Megan Miranda books I've read. So this one has 3.7. So, so far we're doing Megan Miranda. I have Dream Girl by Laura Lippman. 3.28. Not that one. And then the last one I have is The Hawthorne School by Sylvie Perry, 3.37. So it looks like we're going with The Girl from Widow Hills by Megan Miranda, which this book is, so this is 320 pages. So I'm very excited for this. I'm pretty sure my cousin got me this for my birthday like a year ago or something. So we are going to read, what is this called again? The Girl from Widow Hills by Megan Miranda. It says she was rescued but never saved. Everyone knows the story of the girl from Widow Hills. Arden Maynard was just a child when she was swooped away while sleepwalking during a terrifying rainstorm and went missing for days. This is about to become the center of the story once again. I don't know, some sort of domestic thriller because that's what Megan Miranda writes. So let's get this one started. <laughs>
morning, friends. It is now Wednesday, March 27th. I am working from home today. Like I, I don't know if I said it yesterday, actually. But I have a ton of computer work that I need to get done today. So that's the goal. But I let myself sleep in a little bit because last night was rough. Like the anxiety and just fucking irrational thoughts going through my head was just not good as long as i get this one project done today like i'm good i don't have to worry about anything else and i know it's going to take me a couple hours i was like let yourself sleep in have a moment have a morning and just take it slow that's what i'm going to do i feel extremely overwhelmed right now with like the state of our house like there's just like random shit everywhere and it's not bad or dirty at all like it's really not that bad but I think I'm like low-key developing OCD because of Chris. Chris is definitely a little OCD with the house and doesn't like things just like all over the place and I think I'm starting to develop that which is great. I think while I wait for my computer to boot up because it always takes a couple minutes, I think I'm gonna just like pick up and clean up. That way for the whole day I'm not like thinking about it. Also I was saying I was feeling really down and shitty about like the weather and it's fucking just really dumpy today. It is so like wet and gross out. And it's like hard because Louie's like, ooh, I wanna be outside. But our backyard is literally just a mud puddle right now. And that also stresses me out. So it's like all these things that stress me out and like annoy me are just all coming to the surface. And it's, it's just not fun. I am going to drink my greens, get some computer work done and kind of just like have a day where if my brain says, hey, you should do this, just do it. Like, just listen to my crazy brain right now, and I should be good. I really need to look at, like, YouTube. I have, like, slacked on YouTube. I haven't, like, done a terrible job at being consistent, but usually I, like, kind of try to, like, film ahead if I can, but I have not been doing that. It's Wednesday. I want to have this video that I'm filming right up tomorrow, but I don't think that's going to happen because I still have to do the pair eyewear sponsorship portion. So it might go up Friday or Saturday. That's fine because it's going to be a lot of editing. I don't even know how long this video is. I have no idea what I even talked about in this video, but I know it's probably been a lot if I'm being honest with myself. But I'm going to stop talking now and just do what I got to do. Okay, it's a couple hours later. It's now about 2 p.m. I just finished my big project for work, so that feels like a huge weight off my shoulders. Like, you have no idea. So I made myself some breakfast, and as I've been going about my day, two exciting things have happened. One that I just kind of totally forgot about, and that is that today specifically is my one year booktube anniversary when you're watching this that has already passed and i have already picked a giveaway winner i'm gonna choose one probably later today i will message them however they decide to do so and get their box shipped out probably tomorrow i'm so excited i like legitimately cannot believe that it's been a whole year on booktube and i can't believe i finally took the plunge to actually start a youtube channel I have watched YouTube for so freaking long. The first ever YouTube video I watched was a Queen of Blending MUA makeup video where she did like really cool, crazy, dramatic makeup looks. And that's how I got into makeup and that's how I got into YouTube. And from there, my YouTube obsession has just grown. And I have always wanted to be on YouTube, but was like too scared because I was so afraid of what everybody was going to say and like judge and whatever. When I decided to finally start my channel, I had already had my Canon camera for like a year and it literally just sat there collecting dust. And I was like, all right, it's not like I don't have the equipment or anything. It's just me mentally holding myself back. So I am so excited that I decided to take that plunge. and I'm so happy I did. And I literally can't believe it's been a whole year of me being on YouTube and it's just crazy how much this channel has really grown in the last year and I can't wait to continue to see it grow. Thank you guys all for being here and subscribing and all that good stuff. But that's one thing. And then the package that I opened earlier with the coffee cup, it's from a shop on Instagram called Coffee and Goodreads. Last night she had posted that she is looking to do like an ambassador program for the next, I think until now, April until June maybe. I signed up for it and got selected. So I'm so excited. Now I'll be a brand ambassador for them at least until June. I don't know how it works after those three months, but I'm so excited because I literally bought the cup, the cup on my own because I found her on my own. And now that I can like have a discount code for you guys at some point, is just so exciting because her stuff is so freaking cute. I'm going to get myself her embroidered hoodie. It says, Fueled by Coffee and Goodreads. Like, I just, I love it. And the sweatshirt is so goddamn cute. 
So I'm probably gonna buy myself a couple things and share with you guys so you can get your own once I get my little discount code. And I'm so excited for that too, because I just, I mean, I literally bought it on my own. And then when I saw the opportunity, I was like, well, I have to at least try it. Yeah, so it's very cool. And the cooler thing is, she posts about like being in Carl Place, which is in the beginning of Long Island. And she posted about being at that Barnes and Noble. And I think she lives locally to that area. And it's crazy because I go to that area all the time. And I'm pretty sure she sells her stuff in a coffee shop local to the area. And I was like, all right, if this works out, like I could order stuff in Lily when I go down to Brooklyn or in stay overnight, I could easily just like pick the stuff up and not have to pay for shipping and meet her in person. So I don't know, could be a really cool opportunity. We'll see. I am now going to go run some errands. I need to go to the post office. I need to go to Joanne's because we're going to remake. We're, Louis needs a new bed sheet. My mom makes it for him because he has like a specialized custom bed. Of course he does. And he needs a new sheet for that, so I have to go buy some fabric for that. And then I'm getting myself a diet coke because I'm grumpy and depressed and sad and angry and all the emotions that you get when you get your period. And then I gotta go drop off some stuff to my mom, including the fabric. We're gonna go do that. I'm probably not gonna bring my camera because honestly, I just wanna get it over with. <laughs> I have such bad social anxiety lately. Like the fact that I have to go outside into the public right now, like without somebody with me is like, it's not stressing me out, but I just, I don't know. I hate being in public. <laughs> It's so bad. My I've turned into such an old lady where I just don't like leaving my house if I don't have to. So I'm gonna go run those errands. If it's not raining when I come back, I might try to take leave for you know what, maybe. I'm gonna legit read for the rest of the night. Oh, I do have a reading update, hold on. Last night, I read 30 pages for chapters of The Girl from Widow's Hills by Mega Miranda, and I am really enjoying this. And I definitely think I'm going to be able to finish this before April starts. I guess I didn't realize what this book was really about. It's about this girl, Arden, who slept walk when she was younger and like got swept away and somehow got into like the sewer system and was there for three days missing. They found her. She was alive. It was a miracle. She had all these TV interviews. Somebody wrote, her mom wrote a book about her. She basically received all this like stardom and famousness and she didn't like it. So she changed her name and moved, and now we're 20 years later where it goes by a different name. She now lives in North Carolina, and her neighbor just found her like sleeping on the ground, and she thinks that she was sleepwalking, so she thinks that PTSD is coming up and hitting her because she just received a box of her mother's belongings because her mother passed from a drug overdose, and now she feels like she's being watched and everything bad is coming back. That's pretty much all where I'm at right now, and I am thoroughly enjoying this and definitely gonna keep reading once I get back, but I'll see you in a little while. Okay, hello friends. I'm checking in because I have a little other haul that I wanna do. Is this lighting gonna be too much? Hold on. Okay, so let's go over a couple of packages that I got over. Whoops, almost just showed you my address there. Um, this one is from Coffee and Goodreads. I wasn't expecting this this soon because I thought I pre-ordered it, but this is a bookish like apparel company that I found on Instagram. And I love everything she makes. And I ordered, well, I saw somebody had this cup and she said that it was like a limited time thing. And I was like, well, if you ever bring it back, let me know because I will buy it instantly. And I legitimately cannot wait to see what this looks like in person. Oh my God, it's beautiful. Wait till you guys see this. Look at how gorgeous this mug is. I don't know if you're gonna be able to see. Let me put this behind it. Like, look at how gorgeous this is. It's a square mason jar mug with a bunch of like neutral toned mushies and a moon and stars. Oh, she is just beautiful. And it comes with a lid, obviously, and it comes with a straw. So I have a feeling we're going to be making ourselves a second coffee today because I already made my coffee in this. We'll see. We'll probably make a second coffee if I'm being honest because I just want to use that cup. And then... As I said yesterday, I feel like I should adjust the brightness on. Can I do it here? Okay. So we have moved locations because my camera wanted to just be a straight up dickhead. Hold on. And for some reason, the like brightness was, every time I press record, the brightness would like shoot up the ass and ugh. Okay. Anyways, I'm gonna redecorate my Kindle. <laughs> and I have some new stickers from, I think it's like the Wild Flower and Bloom Co. Let me just double check. Is there even a business card in here? Hmm. So I got my little packet right here. 
I saw them on Instagram and I saw somebody's Kindle with all these really cute stickers and I literally bought like all the ones that were on somebody else's Kindle because it just looked so cute together. And then I obviously brought, bought some extras, but she even sent me a business card. Okay, here we go. So the company is at the Wildflower in Bloom Shop on Etsy, Instagram, and TikTok. They just made little bookish stickers, so let's, let me show you them. This is the first one I got. It says, social battery low, time to go home and read. This one says, in my cowboy romance era, because I like low-key am. This one says, in my Kindle era, because obviously we're gonna put it on our Kindle. This one's like one of my favorites. It says, off to the bookshop again. And it's got a really cute little shopping bag. How fucking cute is that? I got this little stack of a book. How cute. And then the last one is my absolute, well, besides the, th these last two are my absolute favorites. This one says, in my bow era, because if you know, you know. And then the last one, I don't really know how to show you this, but it has a bunch of little like different types of bow stickers. Let's see if I can do it like this. So it came as like a multi-pack of just a bunch of different pink bows. Like how freaking cute are these? So we're gonna use those to decorate and then I'm gonna throw in hopefully some of these ones too. And obviously I'm not gonna be able to fit all of these on my Kindle. When I first decorated the Kindle case that I have now, I actually stuck the stickers onto the case itself, which was stupid because now I can't like interchange them. So this time I'm going to not do that. And I have some paper right here, which I found this paper, which also has some bows on it. And I think I'm gonna cut it to fit the Kindle case and put that in. Did I not bring the scissors over here? Oh yeah, yeah. Um, So I think I'm gonna use this as like the base almost and use this to like have as my background on my Kindle. This is just like legit scrapbooking paper. I saw a lot of like decals that you could buy, but I didn't really want to buy one because I have so much scrapbooking stuff and I was like, do I really need to buy that? Okay, let's see if this fits now. Oh my God, perfect, look at how cute. So I just at least have like a little background cover and then I'm gonna just stick the stickers on and take some pictures for the gram. So I'm gonna take my old case off, which I'm so sad because I love the pop socket I have on my case. Look at how cute, it's like a polymer clay. It's from Designed by Laurel Lane or something like that. I'm gonna narrow you down here so you can see. Let's put this on and then I can't forget about my pop socket. Gotta see where I have it placed in comparison to this. So now I can kind of design around that. I definitely want to put this in my bow era. I definitely want to use all these little bows because they're so damn cute. I like this one. It says, hang on, let me girl math this. But I don't think my Kindle is big enough for all of these. I think that's how we're gonna do it. So I'm gonna take this off. Now this is the tricky part, is getting everything to stay. Now we can stick the pop socket on. And she is all decorated. I'll show you how cute. Oh, my candle's gonna die, that's great. How cute does she look? So much more girly and just like my vibe. Like book shopping, social battery being low, both. I love the way this came out and I love my new little pop socket. People think it's so weird that I put my pop socket like where I do, but it's literally because I sit in bed like this. Like this is the perfect location for my pop sockets. That kind of sucks because I literally have so many extra freaking stickers, but it's fine. Kindle decorated. Okay, hello friends, I'm back. I just ran my errands. Did what I had to do, my hair looks crazy, I know. And now, I'm gonna put a meal in the crock pot, and it's super easy, my cousin told me about it, it's like a salsa chicken, so. It's legit one of the easiest meals I've ever heard of. It's literally just chicken breast, a jar of salsa, this is just the late July mild salsa, I've never tried this before. Only other thing she said she puts in it is like a packet of taco seasoning, but Chris and I buy our packet, or taco seasoning in this, so. We're just gonna eyeball it, so let's see just how easy this is. Got my crock pot right here, don't mind my jammies. I didn't go out like this, I literally changed when I got home. So I got my two chicken breasts. I'm probably gonna use maybe half a jar of salsa just to start because I don't think 
You need the whole thing. I think you would probably use the whole jar if you're using more than that. Oh my god, this sm salsa smells amazing. All right, so I think that's good there. And then I'm just gonna add a coating of taco seasoning. That should be good. And then let's get a fork and just move it around. I don't always love using my crock pot because this feels so empty to me. Maybe I'll add a little bit more salsa. That should be good. And then we'll add another layer of seasoning. I probably could have definitely done two more chicken breasts, but didn't want to waste it in case we didn't like this. So I'm going to cook this on high for four hours. So we'll put that on high and then we'll come back at seven. Okay, hello friends. It is now Thursday. I just got home from work. I came home to a couple of packages, one being a really big box that I have no idea what it is. Honestly, it could be something that I ordered, but I don't even remember, so. This first one I think is author mail from my friend Danny from Danny's All Booked. Let's see what it is. I know I applied for one book, but I can't remember if this is the one or not. Oh my god. But this is the rehearsal flame and it's called a, a Single Dad's Club novel by Sophie Andrews. It's an indie author. It said, I never expected the hottest one night stand of my life to turn up at my studio as the grumpy single dad to one of my dance students. That sounds amazing. Very excited to read this. So thank you, Danny and Sophie Andrews, for sending me this. I can't wait to read it. I don't think I've ever read a single dad trope, so. That's gonna be fun, all right. This next package is from none other than Cotswold & Co. I ordered this so long ago that I just don't even remember what's in it. I got this, how cute. Oh, I got a couple other little decals. This was supposed to go in the giveaway. Maybe I will still do that. Let's go on a coffee run, love that. And then focus on the good with some mushies, love that. And then I did get one DTF decal for a shirt that says bookish girl summer how cute is that so got those all right let's see what this big box is it says that there's a fragile sticker i don't remember ordering anything but then again who knows no idea what this could be it says it's from pennsylvania What's this? oh wait oh my god it's my chamberlain coffee order Okay, I just had to like think for a second because I ordered, I placed an order on Chamberlain Coffee literally like Monday or Tuesday of this week, it's Thursday, and I already got it, so I was like confused. So, I got three kinds of coffee beans, nope, ground, I got the Early Bird Blend, I love her packaging. This says, this light roast is crisp, bright, and complex with a subtle tartness of green apple and citrus, sweet caramel, syrup body, and a creamy milk chocolate finish. I heard early bird and I was like, yep, I need all the energy I can get. And then I got fluffy lamb vanilla blend. It's just a vanilla blend coffee. These are also just coffee grounds. How cute is this packaging? And then the last actual coffee grounds I got were the sweet otter cake batter. I don't know, this cake batter got me. I wanted to try it. How cute. I got those three coffee grounds. And then because I spent a certain amount, I got a free thing of chocolate matcha. And then I also got the single serve bags, the variety box of her cold brew coffee. So I think you literally just put this in water and it turns into cold brew. And then I also got two like accessories. I got her mason jar with a lid. How cute. So it just says Chamberlain coffee, just mason jar. And then I also got her extra large mason jar. Because if I like the cold brew, I would prefer to make it this way. It's just a giant thing for her cold brew. So, very excited for that. Didn't know that was gonna come that quickly, so that's exciting, but I think I'm gonna go make one of these coffees. I think I'm gonna try the cake batter in the French press, see how it is, and then I'm gonna take a wee for you know what, and then I'll be back later. Oh my God, wait, so I just went to go put this book away and saw that there was a bookmark and it's freaking signed. It says, be a good little kitten. Love that, okay. So it's signed, which is even cooler. And then I got a couple little stickers. This one says, Zaddy, be a good little kitten. And then this one says, love is learning to see an imperfect person perfectly. And then it comes with bookmark with the author's name on it. So 
this would focus. So that was a little added bonus. So thank you again, Danny and Sophie, for sending me that. I'm so freaking excited to read this. Okay, I'll be back later now. I'm making myself a coffee. friends update on the coffee let me take a legit sip it is really good it's very smooth i cannot wait to try it and continue to try the other flavors but let's do a reading update because i'm going to close this vlog out here i am on page 121 chapter 12 and this is getting so good basically what happened is this girl went missing when she was young she had issues with sleepwalking this is now 20 years later somebody ends up dead on her lawn and she literally like wakes up next to them with blood on her hands and whatnot and the person that was found deceased has not yet been named so they're trying to figure out like who it is what happened and whatnot so Megan Miranda just has a way with words, you know, and it just reads really quickly. So hoping to finish this by Sunday so I can start April with a fresh set of TBR books. And yeah, so I'm going to close out this vlog here because I have no idea what kind of footage I do or don't have for it. And I just, I really need to start editing. So if you enjoy these kind of videos, definitely let me know. Let me know your highlight of last week in the comments below. Make sure to subscribe to my channel and hit that notification bell. And thank you again to Pair Eyewear for continuing to support my channel and sponsoring this video. And I'll see you in my next one. Bye.